Hi, my name is Kanika and welcome to my home. I invite you to join me here in my studio and in my kitchen as we explore fun and creative ways of extracting pigments and colors from the foods that we eat every day. No special or fancy materials are required. All that is needed is an open mind and a willingness to try something new. This is Food to Palette. Thanks for joining me. So for our second primary color, we will be making red. My adventure in the kitchen of extracting pigments from foods actually began with red, and it began with beets. So we will be peeling, cutting the beets, boiling them on the stove. Here I'm using a spoon with a hole. You could use a strainer. I want to keep the liquid in my pot. This is what I'm going to paint with, but you'll see it's, it's very thin. The easiest way of evaporating out the water is just to boil this down. So a low heat, you don't want to do too high. There's a lot of sugar that's going to burn. I'm going to put it through my funnel so I don't want to lose any of this. So the beets give a beautiful gradation of dark to light. Um, and the red color in particular would make for lovely flower petals. To take advantage of the two tones uh, that we get in it, it's important just to take a little container. Uh, again, you don't have a little container. You can find um, the top of a yogurt container, any type of firm plastic that you can use as a palette. So using my watered down paint, um, I want to make my brush really nice and juicy. Try to soak up as much of the liquid as possible and start with my first petal. I actually feel it's a little dark, so I'm going to water it down a bit more and I'm going to build these out in layers. So just taking the strong color, the non-diluted one, and just dabbing away the excess liquid. And then from the center, very lightly, I draw a line. And because the petals are still wet, you'll see this beautiful bleed is starting to happen. And then if you want to have more contrast, once you let it dry, then you add in more and more dark color. The petals, you work with the brush. So start with the tip and then add more pressure and then end with the tip. And once we have the red from the beads, and we have our yellow that was made from, a primary yellow that was made from turmeric and water. Mixing the two together can get orange, peach, a whole bunch of really fun colors. 